Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have another nice math Olympiad challenge. The question is x equal to minus 27 to the power of x. What there will be the value of x? So if you're new here, this is online math TV where we learn mathematics all the time. If you don't subscribe, do well to subscribe so that you get our new videos when they are released. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. All right, so we take our selection. Our question is this. So the number one thing I want to do here is to make the right-hand side of this equation to be unity. In other words, I want to divide by minus 27 to the power of x. So this now give us here x all over minus 27 to the power of x equal to minus 27 to the power of x all over minus 27 to the power of x. This is easy. Of course, this, this will leave the system. Then when I have this to be x all over minus 27 to the power of x equal to 1. Okay, now look at this here. I want to write 27 here. Okay, now 27 could be written as um, 3 to the power of 3, right? So this will now give us here x all over minus 3 to the power of 3. And we put this in bracket r to the power of x equal to 1. Now we know the law of indices which says that if you have, um, if you have, let's say, your a to the power of b x, this is equal to our a to the power of x the bracket, bracket B, right? This is a very common law in indices, right? So if we rewrite this in this format, then we cannot have our expression to be, let's continue on this side. So we're going to have this to be our X all of our minus three to the power of three X equal to one. This has not really changed anything. If it has changed anything, it's for the betterment of this approach. All right, so what do we do here now? I want to move everything here to the numerator. So if I do that, this will give us here your minus. Now, again, this minus will affect both the numerator and the denominator, right? So we're going to have this to be minus our x, all over our 3 to the power of 3x equal to positive 1. I can rewrite this expression here. Minus x all over our e to the power of ln of 3 to the power of 3x. Okay? This is equal to 1. Why? Because e to the power of ln is e. We leave the system to give us this back. So this has not changed anything. So what we do here now, I want to move everything in here to the numerator. And in doing that, what happened to the exponent? It will talk to minus. So we're going to have here minus x here times our e to the power of minus ln of 3 or to the power of 3x equal to our one. Okay, now according to the law of we can move this expression here back here. Remember that law? Okay, so let's move this expression back to the side here. So this one will give us minus our x dot our e to the power of your minus 3x okay, ln of 3 equal to 1. Now we look again. There is something that is trying to play out here, which is called the product log. And before we can apply the product log, the expression we have at the base here must be equal to the expression we have at the exponent here. So if it is true, we have minus x here already, but here we have minus 3x ln of 3. So the difference between this and this is just um, ln of 3s. Sorry, it's just a 3 ln of 3. That's just the difference. So we multiply this side and this side of the equation or it, um, 
a three a ln of three. Okay, so let's see that what that gives us. So this is going to give us minus three x ln of three times r e to the power of minus three x ln of three equal to we do same thing to this side here. So we have here three ln of three. Oh, is something good happening here? Yeah. So we now discover that what we have at the exponent, sorry, at the base here, same thing we have at the exponent. So we can apply our product law, which is same thing as the um, lambda w n function. Okay. So if we put down our lambda w n function, so what does it say? It says that if you have, uh, I normally use a star. So it says that if you have a star, the times our e always to the power of a star, right? Then if we take the product log, which is the lambda w n function, this is equal to a star. This will give us a star in turn. Okay. So if we suck up to the provided, what we have here, same thing we have here. So let's continue on this side again. So this is going to give us w bracket minus 3, the x ln of uh, 3 times our e all raised to minus 3x, the ln of 3, okay, the close bracket equal to, yeah, we're going to have this to be w bracket our 3 ln of 3. Easy. Okay. Now, if you look carefully, we can rewrite this three again. So, if we look at this, um, where are we? Good. What we did here now. Okay. So, if we multiply three by e to the power of ln of three, it will still give us three. So, let's go ahead and rewrite this side of the equation. So, we have this to be bracket minus three as ln of three close bracket, okay, times our e to the power of minus three x ln of three close bracket. This is equal to the lambda w function bracket our ln of three times e to the power of ln of three. Oh, this has not changed anything. So because we have here, ln of 3 to the power times rather times e to the power of ln of 3. So this will give us something useful. So with this application here, this will now implies our minus 3x ln of 3 is equal to our ln of 3. Easy. We're looking for x, so we divide by minus 3 ln of 3. So this will now give us minus 3 times ln of 3. Equally divide this side by minus 3 times ln of 3. So this minus 3 goes with this minus 3. ln of 3 goes with ln of 3, right? ln of 3, we go with ln of 3. So here we're left with x. So we're going to have here x will now be equal to our 1 all over minus 3. So therefore... We now have our x is equal to minus 1 all over 3. All right. So this is the value of x that will satisfy this exponential equation. If you want us to do a little check on this, we can do that to confirm if the answer is actually correct. So let's do a confirmation. So check, check. For, for our x we have in here, minus 1 all over 3 is equal to, here we're having minus 27 to the power of minus 1 all over 3. Now, the right-hand side of the equation could be written as our minus 1 all over 27 to the power of 1 all over 3. So, what is the cube root of 27? It's just 3. So this will now give us here minus 1 all over 3 is equal to minus 1 all over 3. 
So this shows that our answer x is equal to minus 1 all over 3 is very correct. And that satisfies the original equation. So this brings us to the end of this challenge. If you learn something from the approach applied here, give the video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, like I told you, do well to subscribe, okay? By subscribing, you are doing yourself a great favor. And at the same time, you are doing us a great favor. Here is a win-win situation, okay? Thanks for being there all the time. Remember, Jix loves you and all of us at Online Mass TV loves you dearly. Bye for now.